July 22, 2024. White Hats have arrested the regime's most malevolent military loyalist. Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff General Charles Q. Brown, a feckless Biden appointee who emailed myriad armed forces officers instructing them to disavow President Donald Trump if he wins the 2024 presidential election. The day after a valiant President Trump survived a heinous assassination attempt, General Smith at Camp Pendleton received an email sent from Brown's official .mil address. Based on the names listed in the CC field, 630 officers received the correspondence, mostly black hats but also two prominent white hats, in addition to Jen Smith. Commander-in-Chief, President Joe Biden's terrible debate performance, he was sick with a cold, and Trump unfortunately surviving the bullet have put us in a calamitous situation. He will win in November, and not by a small margin. We're looking at a repeat of 1984's Reagan landslide, or real red wave. When that happens, we're doomed unless we recruit others who value democracy and the rule of law over chaos and division. If you're receiving this email, I know you and can count on your backing. I will be fired on January 20th, 2025, if Trump wins, and the risk of us, collectively, going to Gitmo is real. None of us want that one-way trip. He then addressed the likelihood of Kamala Harris replacing Biden as the Democrat nominee. By Monday, Kamala Harris will probably be picked to lead us into an era of prosperity, unity, and strength. Should that take place, she has my full support, and she should have yours, too. Let your conscience guide you, not outside influence or existential crises. If Biden withdraws, we must rally behind Harris. If we find her a path to win, she would be our future, Brown continued. A source in Jen Smith's office told Real Raw News that General Smith thinks Brown screwed up, accidentally, somehow, adding Smith's name to the list of recipients, an unfathomable mistake. Can't imagine how he fucked up like that, our source said, but he's been on the radar a long time. That email was treason. This clown Brown's advice is part of the reason the deep state's been giving Ukraine limitless money, too. Jen Smith decided it was time to hasten his trip to Gitmo. The general and his allies at Joint Special Operations Command began planning Brown's arrest on July 16. They tasked Delta Force with conducting the operation, which involved grabbing Brown following his appearance at the Aspen Security Forum's D.C. campus, where Brown and Fox News political correspondent Jennifer Griffin had a warm chat about the United States' role in worldly affairs last Friday, not long after an allegedly accidental global IT. Outage affected 8.5 million Windows devices. While Griffin and a bespectacled, soft-spoken Brown discussed Biden's competency, Brown answered her questions evasively, Delta was already outside his Arlington. Virginia House probing his security system for weaknesses. As luck had it, the cascading cyber outage had affected Brown's wireless alarm, allowing Delta unobstructed access to the interior. They had Brown's unpublished itinerary and knew he would return home Sunday afternoon. And they'd be waiting. On schedule, Brown pulled into his driveway at approximately 6 p.m. Stepping inside, he found himself face to face with a trio of Delta operators whose weapons were pointed at his head and torso. Brown was told he was being placed under arrest for treason and shown a military arrest warrant. He commanded Delta to stand down, saying that he, the highest-ranking military officer in the country, had been appointed by President Joseph R. Biden and that his authority over all armed forces was absolute. His ordinarily calm demeanor turned to belligerence, and he ferociously threatened to court Marshal Delta for disobeying a superior officer's direct orders. His attitude earned him a rifle butt to the head, and he fell unconscious. He awoke gagged and bound in the back of a van as it headed toward a JAG processing center.